Hey, what's up everybody? Big D here from Big D Sports Collectibles. Coming to you to show you off a collection I put together. A while back I was telling people I was trying to get the whole complete set of the 92 Tops gold cards. And I did end up completing it. The gold winner set, I should say. If they were the non-winners, it'd be worth quite a bit more, but still. Pretty sweet set to get your hands on. Let's see if I can get this in focus. I was going to just show off some of the sweet cards from the set. See if people remember them. And then when the gold cards came out, to get the winners, you had to scratch these in the packs. And when they first came out in 92, the ones with the white backs, like these, you could take into a closet or a dark place hold a light underneath it and you could see where the winners were and it's kind of a funny thing tops ended up switching to a gray back of these to prevent that but man a while back i bought a bunch of of the winner packs you get like 10 packs with each of those winner car or winner scratch offs or whatever and Decided I wanted a set build, so, well, I did complete the set. I got it right here. I was going to, like I said, flip through and show you some of the bangers out of there. See if you guys remember any of these. Talk about them as we go. Like I said, like there's the Nolan Ryan. That was a sweet card out of there. The Henderson Record Breaker, the Nolan Ryan Hacker Baker. That Brian Taylor, back in the day, this was like pulling the Eloy or the Wander or now the Louis Robert. Robert, however you say his name, that was the prime card back then. That thing back then was worth 20 30 bucks. And when I was a young kid back then, that was just a major pull if anybody had it. I, I just, nowadays, if you can get it for about a buck off eBay, but yeah, here we'll just flip through. Here's the Boggs, Luis Gonzalez. You know, Knobloch, shout out to my brother. That was my brother's guy growing up. Juan Gonzalez. Who else is good? There's a lot of pretty sweet cards. There's the Ripken. That was a sweet one. There's the Griffey. That's one of the more valuable ones today out of the set. It's a pretty cool one. It's uh, Brad Osmus. For some reason, that card still books in Beckett. I don't know why. Oh, Brad Osmus, I guess. There's Big Mo right there. I've got so many duplicates of these. It was kind of cool to set build this and complete it. I got about 90% of the set out of those packs. And I got a few of the cards through trades. <clears throat> and I broke down and bought five or six of them off eBay. But it's kind of cool to set build it yourself, you know. Kind of an awesome accomplishment. There's the Pudge Rodriguez. Gold Cup card. Yount. Sosa for the socks. That's kind of odd. Is that the Conseco? That was another good one back then. Terry Pendleton. I collected him as a kid. Because he was the MVP of the year before. And I started collecting in 92. 92 Tops was the first box my dad bought me for my birthday I ever got, and I thought I was a king opening a whole box of cards back then. Klesko, rookie. Just kind of showing off some of the guys in here. It's kind of a big set. 792 cards, I think. Clemens. Manny Ramirez, graph pick card. That's a sweet card. I got a few of those, actually. I got a couple more. Pulled them aside. I got an extra Griffey. I was thinking about sending them in for grading. They look pretty pristine. Bobby Bo. There's some other pretty decent cards in this set. It's a very underrated set, if you ask me. Like I said, when I was a kid, I just thought it was awesome having a couple of these. So that's why I went after it. Cliff Floyd, he was a big name back then. Awesome. Robbie Alomar, my brother collected him too. Knobloch and Alomar. So anytime I got those, I had to give them off to him. 
Jack Morris for the Twins. Smoltz. And there's Senior. Tommy Lasorda, Mr. Slimfast. There's the Gwen. Uh, Sean Green, that's a pretty cool card. He's pretty good back in the day. Very underrated guy. Hit a lot of homers. Probably going to miss some of the players flipping through kind of quick here. Bo Jackson in the Sox. Glavin. These are all in number order. Man, that was fun putting it together, like I said. Once I completed it, I just felt a relief. A little thrill. Herbeck, one of my favorites growing up. Bert Blylaven. Circle me, Bert. Great announcer. There's the Bonds. Clark and Sandberg All Star cards. Bonds All Star. Blavin. Boggs. Cecil. Ripper. Clemens. Jim Abbott, the guy with one hand. He was a cool one to collect back then, too. Pretty insane a guy with one hand being that good. An all star, if anything. Yeah. Now there's a few more big ones coming up here. Tom Kelly, TK. This was the year after the Twins won it all, so the Twins were hot back then. It's just really nostalgic going back and looking at these. Bagwell, Gold Cup card. It's the Jim Abbott again. Joe Girardi. the Frank Thomas. That was cool. There's the Chipper Prospect card. That's a sweet card too. It's one of my favorite Frank Thomas cards. I PC him too. Got multiples of that. One in here. One in my Thomas book. Ricky. <clears throat> Kirby. It's my guy. Probably got about six or seven of those. DJ Dozier. I liked him. Back in the day, he played for the Vikings before he went to play baseball. So, pretty sweet to see him. Eric Davis, he was hot back then. George Brett. Fisk. Neon Dion. Like I said, this is a sweet set. Like I was so happy to complete it. I'd go for the non-winner set, but man, I don't really want to spend the money on that right now. I've got quite a few of them because I bought a big lot of them of somebody who had a complete set, but they pretty much purged anything worth a dime out of there, so there's like no stars at all. Still, Sheffield on the Brewers. Ruben Sierra, he was a big name back then. Craig Biggio. It's crazy seeing some of these guys and now they're Hall of Famers. Dwight Gooden. Pedro's brother. Ken Caminiti was another big name. I think he won an MVP one year. Pretty sick set though. Ozzy Smith. Rob Dibble, oh, from the Nasty Boys, those Reds pitchers, they had an awesome bullpen back in the day. Jim Tomey. John Olenrude, he was another guy. Underrated, I really liked. Phil Plantier, this would have been a hot card back in the day. Pretty sweet set. Like I said, Albert Bell. Very glad I got to complete it. Took a lot of work to do, but hey, I got it done. 
I'm gonna shoot a video coming up here of oh, my updated Kirby collection. I finally organized it with all my, my custom Bud Stoney box. Love it, dude. It's a lot of my dupes are in there. Like I said I went through and I top loaded all the ones that weren't doubles or whatnot or just. I wanted to try to get all Kirby's, but man, that's going to be a lot of work. A bunch of graded ones, too. Show a couple of my favorites. It's a flawless. It's got a diamond in it. And I got these two also. They're pretty sweet. This one's got a diamond in it, too, but it looks like a cubic zircarnia. But still, it's guaranteed a diamond, I guess. But those are another video. Thanks for checking it out, dudes. If there's any... Buddy, out of the tops gold set you want, just let me know because, like I said, I got a lot of doubles and I'm always down to trade. So, awesome, guys. Thanks.